Welcome to Culture Wire. I'm your host, Meg Schiffler. In 2001, the San Francisco Arts Commission and the San Francisco Public Library established an arts master plan for the city's soon to be renovated branch libraries. Almost 10 years later, the San Francisco Arts Commission has integrated a collection of vibrant new artworks by Bay Area artists into five new libraries. And there's more on the way. Here's a closer look at some of the projects. The Branch Library Improvement Program is a bond-funded program undertaken by the San Francisco Public Library to upgrade each of the branch libraries throughout all the neighborhoods. So one of the great benefits of this opportunity is that each of these 10 branches has a unique artwork that has been created specifically for that branch based on input from people who live near that branch in the, in the surrounding neighborhoods. Petrero Hill is so community-minded and everyone seems to come to the library and they were all concerned about it. There was a lot of community support for the whole project. I tried to make it really about Petrero Hill and its history. The Willow and Thule are natives, and they were something that natives used in making houses. The construction of the pod is directly based on Ohlone house construction, and the Thule at the bottom of the form is woven into a rope, which then sort of transforms into a manufactured rope. And that is a reference to Tubbs Cordage Company, which was a big industry at the waterfront that sort of went along with the shipbuilding industries. Other examples of artwork in libraries that you might be interested in seeing if you're in the neighborhood is D Dana Zed's glass shutters in the window of the Portola Library. Reddy Lieb and Linda Rainsford's wall sculptures in the lobby of the uh, Glen Park Branch Library, and Vince Koloski's illuminated book that's on the wall of the Mission Bay Library. This sculpture is called Ocean Current. Uh, it evokes waves and currents. Uh, we're on Ocean Avenue, so there's a connection to that. Uh, we're on the bay, so that's what this piece is about. It's a culmination of a lot of dialogue and a lot of processing over a five-year period. And that five years is a little bit longer than, you, than public art projects usually take, but I feel that it was enriched from that dialogue. Making this sculpture involves forging and fabricating steel. And it's using steel, this very resistant material, to create this uh, flowing kind of sensual sculpture. It involves heating and bending and cutting and welding and grinding and sanding and brushing and painting and doing a patina on it before the paint. So there are layers and layers of, of craftsmanship that go into this. The artists who participated in this project are all Bay Area artists, and they work in a wide variety of media, metal, glass, natural elements, uh, photography, and just a range of different approaches and aesthetics. So we've created a very nice collection of artwork that's reflective of uh, the current Bay Area art scene and we invite everyone to visit the participating libraries and to see the unique artworks that have been developed. To learn more, visit sfartscommission.org.